but more melodrama. Sadly, I think Phil Jackson's latest Twitter rant, ripping the great Carmelo Anthony, could finally drive Melo to waive that no trade clause. And as a Melo fan and apologist, as you know, and a diehard Knicks fan, it makes me sick. And as I've said many times before here on Time to Shine, the Knicks should fire Phil before even considering trading Carmelo Anthony. How they hired Phil Jackson to be the team president in the first place when he never had any front office experience is sad and pathetic. It was, it is, a money grab by Phil. And clueless Knicks owner James Dolan fell for it. Sure, Phil has the 11 rings as a coach. That's as a coach. He's a part of the iconic Knicks teams of the early 70s. But he was ill-prepared for this job. And these tweets, I mean, my goodness. How about Phil Jackson, who irresponsibly didn't make himself available to the press when Derrick Rose went AWOL before a game, took to Twitter, social media, to rip Melo late yesterday, saying, bleachers ding, almost rings the bell. But I learned you don't change the spots on a leopard with Michael Graham in my CBA days. Unreal. This isn't a subtweet. It's a flat-out dig, and it's a disgrace. Carmelo Anthony is a great player. He's a winner in college and the Olympics. By the way, Melo's Knicks, 30 games over 500 before Phil got there. They're not even close to a 500 team since Phil became the president. Melo deserves so much better than this garbage and nonsense. Better than the team president constantly ripping him because he isn't Michael or Kobe. Ripping him when the Knicks were actually playing well when Phil killed him right here exclusively on CBS Sports Network on We Need to Talk. It's wrong. And in talking to Melo's coach at Syracuse in the Olympics on our Sirius XM radio show today, Jim Beheim, who speaks Melo for a living, thought that Carmelo would waive his no trade clause to win, to go to the Clippers or the Cavs. Sadly, I agree. Melo's got to do it. He's got to know the Knicks are a disaster. He loves New York. He wants to win in New York more than anything else. I firmly believe that. But he's got to know. Phil Jackson is clueless, and Phil Jackson just wrongly rips him on a constant basis. Now, on the flip side, the always tapped in Adrian Wojnarowski is reporting that Melo is telling teammates that he won't let Phil drive him out of town. So buckle up. The trade deadline is just two weeks away. But think about it. And I know Melo wants to stay, but he's got to know, right? He has to know. I want him to stay as a diehard Knicks fan. What has Phil done? I mean, he's been here for years. He's done one thing, Porzingis. That's it. Other than Porzingis, look at the roster. He's literally done nothing else. He's botched the players. He's ripped Melo. He doesn't scout. He doesn't show up at the combine. Couldn't hire the right coach, Derek Fisher. What a waste. Derek Fisher will never coach again. There'll be interviews to be a coach again in the NBA. Riley hired Jeff Hornacek and made him keep failed Knicks coach Kurt Rambis around. It guts you. It guts you. Guts me. That Phil's going to win this thing. The only hope is that Jim Dolan wakes up from his slumber and fires him. But even then, Mello knows that Jim Dolan, who's the worst, owns the Knicks. Sad. Embarrassing. Pathetic. Phil Jackson. Knicks basketball.